Hi and welcome back to my channel, my name is Eva, this is Eva the Vegan where I talk about all things simple and sustainable living from the perspective of an environmental science student and ethical vegan activist person. So grab yourself a little drink because today we're going to talk about all about, we, today we are going to talk all about Halloween and how to have a more sustainable Halloween and why Halloween is bloody wasteful. Halloween is a very popular holiday, with spending in the UK estimated to be at about £500 million this year alone. But in order for us to enjoy Halloween, we must first recognise that Halloween is extremely wasteful, like every holiday is extremely wasteful. This doesn't mean that you can't celebrate Halloween, it just means that by recognising the wastefulness of the holiday, you can then take steps to be more sustainable and be less wasteful. So, the first thing I want to talk to you about is pumpkins. Everyone loves pumpkins, we love carving pumpkins, we love eating pumpkins, but over 8 million pumpkins are wasted in the UK every single year. That's about 18,000 tonnes of food waste. Just from Halloween alone, all that food waste, imagine how many people you could feed, how many animals you could feed. It's just ridiculous, all those resources just going to waste just because you want to look at a cute pumpkin. So how can we try and be more sustainable with our pumpkins? Try and buy local pumpkins, organic pumpkins. Try and also, if you don't have access to organic and local pumpkins, then buy from the supermarket, but try and buy the ugly ones. The ugly ones deserve carving and eating just as much as the really pretty ones do. Don't waste anything. Over 6% of people who buy pumpkins to carve don't use any of the pumpkin and it all just goes straight into landfill or straight into food waste or wherever they put their food waste. You can use the seeds, you can dry them out, you can roast them or you can use them to try and grow your own pumpkins next year. Use all of the pulp and the insides to make bread and cakes and soups and stews and beautiful pumpkin things, why not try a pumpkin katsu curry? I'll leave a link down below to a list of vegan pumpkin recipes for you to check out if you are gonna use all of your pumpkin, which I hope you will after watching this video. And definitely let me know if you make any of them, be really excited to see how you do and if you enjoy them. If you do decide to carve a pumpkin, do not bleach it. People have been doing this, it is so harmful to wildlife, it's so harmful to you, it's so harmful to the pumpkin, it's so harmful to the environment, just don't do it. And if you do decide to carve a pumpkin, please don't smash it up and leave it in the forest or in nature anywhere. Um, this has been a very popular thing for people to do, but actually it's usually not part of the animals that are going to consume its normal diet, so it can often cause more harm than good even though you're doing it from a good place. Composting is great so just compost it. So the next thing I want to talk about is costumes. In the UK an estimated 83% of costumes are plastic. In 2019 costumes accounted for 2,000 tonnes of plastic waste. That's the equivalent of 83 million plastic bottles. So in order to try and make your costumes more sustainable just use what you already have. DIY your own clothes. If you do need to buy something new, buy it secondhand. Borrow. You can even rent costumes now. Swap with your friends. Just don't buy new plastic costumes. Next is decoration. So I know this is really popular. People love to decorate outside their house for when kids come and trick and treat and stuff like that. And it, it looks cool, but a lot of the stuff is just it's just rubbish and it's just plastic. And animal experts say that if it tangles or dangles, then it's harmful to animals. This is especially true for fake spider's webs. It's just like plastic webbing and it can be really, really dangerous for local birds. And lots of birds have been known to tangle up and be strangled in there. Whilst those webs may look convincing and look cool, the animals that get hurt by them and never going to get their lives back and those webs are going to sit in landfill forever so is it really worth it when you think about the animals lives lost sitting in landfill it's just like just don't do it if you're going to decorate then try and use more natural things like the leaves <laughs> and make dried leaf garlands make orange garlands use pumpkins that aren't carved just put pumpkins outside and draw a smiley face on it and then take it in after halloween and make a lovely soup for your family to enjoy Use your imagination and the earth will thank you for it and landfills won't be as full of all the Halloween crap. Finally, treats. If you're going trick or treating and you're collecting treats, please don't buy a plastic bucket, just use a reusable tote bag or whatever bag you have really. Every year I see in shops these really like these plastic 
pumpkin buckets just don't buy them just use a tote bag it's exactly the same thing <laughs> if you are giving out sweets this year i would worry less about the packaging um involved in all those sweets there are a lot of scary things involved in treats if you're giving out chocolate it might well be milk chocolate and if you haven't already seen dairy is scary on youtube i'll link it here here <laughs> and i'll also link it below definitely go give it a watch the next really scary thing is if you don't choose chocolate but choose gummy sweets a lot of gummy sweets are not vegan and contain gelatin gelatin is a protein obtained by boiling skin tendons ligaments and or bones with water usually obtained by, from cows and pigs now the scariest thing isn't just the fact that it's all the extra bits of the animals that they're boiling to put in your sweets to make them gummy like but it's that those animals have been raised to be slaughtered and eaten by humans and then all of the extra bits which we didn't want to eat are then put in sweets for kids so please try and choose gelatin free sweets there are loads out there you can also get vegan package free sweets in local package free shops if you have access to that or you could just make your own treats i have a really good uh chocolate peanut butter protein ball recipe that you could just make smaller roll them into tiny little balls and like maybe wrap them up in a little bit of paper way healthier probably way cheaper way better for the planet way better for the animals no animal wants their skin and bones ground up and put into kids gummy sweets let's be honest so i really hope you enjoyed this video i know i didn't cover everything to do with halloween otherwise it would last forever and you don't want to listen to me talking forever but if you did enjoy this video and made it this far please give it a thumbs up comment down below any content you want to see from me um subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to have you here in our growing community it would mean a lot to me have a beautiful day stay kind happy halloween please enjoy it sustainably and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye